welcome back to the channel everybody. There is some severe weather coming to New Mexico. So we are going to head up into the Jemez Mountains and do some winter camping that this one is excited about and I am not because I don't know why anybody likes to go winter camping and we are going to try to check out some hot springs. But first we need to get out of all this traffic here in Rio Rancho. Your route may be affected by winter storm warning. We made it to our camp spot for the night. We're here at Vista Linda Campground in Jemez, and we got a problem. So, it's a first come, first serve uh, envelope. You pay the US Forest Service. Well, no envelopes, no uh, receipt payments, none of that. So, I guess we see if a ranger comes by. So, look at this around us. This is beautiful. So we've been by this uh, campground tons of times, yep. but it's actually been closed because there was flooding through here. So they had to do some repairs and you know, that kind of thing. And that's our spot right here next to the Jemez River. Pretty awesome spot right here in the back of the campground. The river right there. Take a walk from our campsite down to the river. And as you can see, this is why we call it the Sedona of New Mexico. All the red clay, beautiful cliffs. It's a little after 6 p.m., it's about 6.30. Need to feed the cats and we need to eat. We stopped at uh, Albertsons prior to coming up here. So we're gonna make some sandwiches, some soup. We also have some bread and hummus. So it's gonna be a good night of snacks. So what exactly is on the menu for sandwiches? Turkey, well actually maple honey turkey, and cheddar cheese, grilled cheeses, and then we have the tomato bisque soup. Food is made, it is dinner time. We're gonna watch some Netflix probably, or something of this sort. We got Starlink up right now. And uh, wait and see if some snow starts coming down. So if it comes down, we'll show you that. If not, we'll see you in the morning, show you some snow hopefully, and get over to some hot springs if we can find a good one. Because the one we really wanna go to is closed. Well, it's open, but the road's closed and it's a 10 mile hike in, so I don't know if we're gonna do that. Good morning, everybody. I think Neil's a little disappointed in the weather. It just rained. <laughs> no snow here, I guess we weren't high enough in elevation, but the risk of going higher was we had seen that a bunch of those roads were closed, and even if they were open, 
could have been heck getting out of there. So overall, I think we would highly recommend Vista Lens Vista Linda campground to everybody. It was super quiet. It was really dark. You can have a campfire. You're right on the river. And if you like this, you have absolutely no service. We had our Starlink up, but if you're into having absolutely no cell phone service, this is the campground to come to. So our late breakfast slash lunch, it was lunch food, was excellent. But now we have stopped, pulled over on the side of the road, and we are checking out Soda Dam. This is pretty dang cool. Looks like fossils. All of these interesting little caves. So we know we're close to some springs because we smell sulfur. So we're gonna continue down the road, try to stop and check out a few more things. Hopefully find a hot spring. The one we wanted to go to, I think we already said, but the road to it is closed and it's a 10 mile hike in. Don't really want to do that. So right up behind us, you can see Battleship Rock. It's a little kind of roadside pull off here. It's some bathrooms, hiking trails right here behind us. So trail access and use of picnic area is $5. Just day use, no overnights here in this lot, but pretty awesome spot. And did we mention that we are actually going up in elevation right now? We're going up into the Jemez Mountains further. So it's getting a little chillier and we're starting to see snow yep. just a little bit above us on the mountains. So we might, uh, <laughs> we might eventually get into some snow here at some point. And we actually just got another severe weather warning and it looks like the real snow is coming in today into tom tomorrow morning. So it could get uh, pretty intense. We're gonna figure out a game plan. We found snow. It has been, it has been accomplished. Look! <laughs> There's lots of snow, and snow is coming down. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's uh, it's very light. It's starting. So we need to find a plan for tonight if we want to camp in some snow. I don't know. We gotta think about it. <laughs> Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. I also highly recommend coming to New Mexico in the off season because all of the spots that we are currently stopping at would be packed yeah, with cars in the spring and especially the summertime, even into the fall because you can go fishing, hiking, do all the things here. So this is a lot of fun. Even though it's cold, you can still see everything with almost nobody around. And just a little bonus, if you're a fisherman or fisherwoman, there are tons of fishing access points along the road. We've passed at least five. There's the Rincon one, which is pretty popular. There's the Bluffs, and like I said, three plus more others. So, a uh, great spot for fishing. No. 
Look at that. It's everywhere. This is Valle Caldera. And uh, we still haven't driven down in there after several years of coming this direction. But hopefully when it turns spring, we can go down in there and see a bunch of wildlife that we're not seeing today. Because I think we need some binoculars and oh my goodness, <laughs> it's cold. We're officially turning back around now. Because if we kept going, we would just end up back in Los Alamos, which is where we spend half of our week already. So we're going to turn back around and I don't know where we're going to go. So we ended up taking another mountain road, <laughs> went to a spot we've camped at before. If you watched our channel, we've actually camped here with friends. Uh, really awesome spot, but the road's closed. So we're going to figure out a game plan, but we're going to save that for the next video. So we hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on our little trip through the Jemez Mountains of New Mexico. And if you have, please remember to give us a big thumbs up on this video. Drop a comment below and let us know if you have been here before. We would love to know if you have explored this awesome area. And as always, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'd love to have you along for all of our adventures. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys next time. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking.